well, now Friday. It's a little after 1 a.m. here. Um, the Detroit Pistons had a back-to-back -back, uh, second game, and the Knights taking on the Portland Trailblazers. We're down at one point by 23 in the third quarter, um, but somehow worked their way back um, and forced the game to overtime and then took the lead in overtime and wound, wound up getting back-to-back -back wins for the first time since games two and three this season. Uh, final score in Portland over the Trailblazers, Pistons 128, Trailblazers 122. Um, in a game that just saw a just a team performance and effort on a grind um, going into the game, Earlier today, Bojan Bogdanovic, Alec Burks dealt to the Knicks um, in a deal which include um, some key names that I'll bring in there. Um, Malachi, Malachi Flynn, Quentin Grime, Ryan Archie Diacono, and Evan Fournier and draft considerations came over from the Knicks. Uh, Killian Hayes, Joe Harris, Danilo Gallinari um, were put on waivers. So um, a bit thinner in the squad um and it looked like early on especially into the third quarter that um that was going to be the reason why what looked like the pistons just being tired but they did not quit they kept fighting um this you know and they kept grinding um going in and kind of just bringing in the box score now just to kind of give you um the key performances from tonight. Uh, Jaden, Jalen Dern, uh, another big, big game. 27 points, 22 rebounds, another 2020 game, 9 of 10 from the line. Um, Dern, yesterday against Sacramento, became the fastest player to get 1,000 rebounds, doing it in 102 games, um, starting and now becoming a consistent threat scoring. Jaden Ivey, 48 minutes played, 26 points. Uh, seven of seven from three point land. Uh, Kate Cunningham got twenty three points in thirty nine. Six of six from the line. Um, Marcus Sasser, uh, maybe the th spark late in this game that helped the comeback. Seventeen points, eleven assists off the bench. Um, Moody had fourteen off the bench. Um, Oscar Thompson had some key moments late in the game. He had six points, five rebounds, but he did a lot late, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, Portland had a couple key performances. Um, Anthony Simons had a game early on, 29 points in 25 minutes. Jeremy Grant had a ball tonight um, for Portland, 49 points, a career high, 18 to 20 from the line. But at the end of the day, the Pistons found a way to get it done. 128-122 the final. First time winning back-to-back -back since games two and three. That was in late October, folks. They're now eight and forty-three. Um, maybe they're starting to click. Um, you know, who knows what's going to happen the rest of this West Coast trip? Uh, the Clippers are next uh, for the Stones. That is Saturday afternoon, um, and then after that is the Lakers a few days later uh, on the thirteenth, and then the Suns on the fourteenth uh, before a game in Indiana on the twenty-second, and then back home. So. That's it. I'm tired. Um, but I know the guys are too. So, you know what? Maybe things are slowly turning the corner for the, for the Detroit Pistons. In a season that's been rough, um, there's still 31 games to go. But we'll see how it goes. Night, everyone, and Detroit Pistons.